Okay, uh, no doubt you'll have a Mobius uh, as well as a smartphone and a nice little another addition is these uh, USB to OTG cables. You can buy them off eBay. I bought five for 3 19 delivered which is quite cheap. Um, okay, so first of all you can now access your Mobius footage and view your footage back on your smartphone which it took me a bit of messing about I'll admit downloading relevant different apps uh, some I had to pay for um, weren't expensive a couple, a couple of quid um, trying to get this in focus I'm using my, my Nexus 7 here because my battery and my phone is dying and I haven't installed it on this Nexus the app it's on my phone because I have my phone with me all times as well as these cables you can use to change the settings on the NACE 32 at the field as well. The Mobius is a good one. So you can see it's plugged into the Mobius there. I'm on my, on my uh, smartphone here. So if I tap on that, you can see the files that are on my phone, which are, well they're not on my phone, but they're on the, they're on the card that's in the Mobius. So I'll just tap one. And you can see. Ta-da! That's the footage, the raw footage, full unedited raw footage that is on the SD card that I've recorded whilst I was at the field. Um, so this is just a, an LG Nexus 5 phone, uh, nothing special. I prefer my Samsung if I'm being honest. Um, but hey, you can't have everything in life. Um, that's the footage there. So you can see that's playing nicely. You can see the Mobius is doing its thing there, the light's flashing, telling the file is being accessed. Trying to get the lighting right. But it's in full 1080p. This is the video of me, Mini uh, Emacs 250, which is on my channel. But to be able to do this as well whilst you're at the field, as well as changing the settings of the Mobius, to me, sweet, sweet, you know what I mean? It just really is a nice little add on. So um, I'll show you the other cool, cool features as well. Um, so we'll just stop that. Do, 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 do. Trying to do it sideways. Well, I'm seeing where I put my finger. So there's the files. You can see that as well. So that's you know my phone is just based. I'm using the the Mobius as a media as a, a USB storage, and download the app that can read the USB storage through my phone. If that makes sense. All right. Um, so I'll just go to my other app. Uh, do, do, do. Get to the relevant one that we want. Okay, I don't know if you can see that. There's all my values on the Mobius. So I'll try and keep this tablet still whilst you can see what it shows. So basically anything that is silent, you can see at the top it says basically hand uh, is menu, little hand symbol. Bold in that colour is basically um, modified parameters, save when ready. So you just have an option. So if I wanted to say change the resolution there, you can change it to 1080p and so forth. But I'm always 720, 60 frames per second. So I move down and down. Really is neat. I'm surprised so many people don't mean using this. So, can you imagine though getting to the field and the weather's changed dramatically since you're at the field and you had the camera set on sunny conditions and it turns out cloudy and you thought, hey, I just wish I could have changed the, fo the footage there and you know, change the camera setting as well. This cable's all that. This cable allows that as well as tuning your NACE 32 at the field. I've yet to plug it in. I did initially try it and it won't connect. But again, sometimes it can be very temperamental, these USB OTG cables, they can be, hence why I got five. Um, another neat little trick as well is, if I unplug that, and if I just power this one, which excuse me a second, it's going to get a little bit, little bit tricky, this. one sec. Now another little feature, 
when you don't have an SD card actually in the Mobius, you get it as a live cam. Can you see? Now, the low free space, I think that's referring to my phone, not the. It could be the Mobius, obviously, there's no SD card in there, so it's probably just thing. But you try and do this with the SD card in, it doesn't work. It brings all the parameters up, which you saw, which I think it's because they're all actually on the SD card. Obviously, there's someone may check and you know feel free to chime in here and tell me no you can might might do it with the sd card in it if you can superb sweet um but you can see there as well and you get to, obviously there's obviously a bit of a lag uh if i put that down on the, on the table in my hand it's not really big, i do apologize about the quality of the video it's it's pretty poor pretty pathetic really but there you go uh you can see Again, it's low light and it's, it's getting dark outside. And I'm recording a tablet then today. There you go. Uh, so, yeah, that's the other things you can do as well. So, if you want to see what your image is like at the field, you can do that as well. Um, you get to see what the Mobius sees and you can get to play back the, vid the videos you recorded at the field and you can get to change the settings at the field. So no more lugging a laptop around. I don't, excuse me, I don't even need to take this tablet with me now, neither. Which helps me as well. Because it is a 7 inch tablet and I want to take my smartphone. Although the, the battery on this is pants. Uh, LG Nexus 5, thumbs down, battery is pants. Um, so again, uh, OTG cable, USB to OTG cable. It's just the little mini USB at one end to, and the female USB port at the other end you plug your wire in relevant to that obviously if you put in a phone wiring that you normally charge your phone that is what you connect it to it or for the mobius which is the micro usb uh, not micro usb sorry mini usb micro you know which one it is you've all used them before so there you go i uh, hope that helps again if you do um, get it as well this just a word of warning it's a lot. It's a bit of faffing around with the apps. I, I'll try and link in the app that I downloaded, but I downloaded one. I downloaded that many apps on my foot on my phone. Then I tried it on my tablet. I downloaded um, the the main app, which I had to pay for, which was about one pound twenty nine, less than two quid anyway, and uh, it wouldn't open the file. Um, but so I, I think there's something else has to be installed as well, like a, a, a USB reader or some thought lines. You may be a bit more clued up about this type of thing than I am. I, this is how I this is how I roll. I just start playing with things and I get things working and then I forget how I did it. So um, I hope it helps. It's helped me. That I think that's sweet. That be able to watch your footage at the field, share with your mates. So I remember that you know show them the crash. You can show them the crash and the DVR footage you recorded. Yeah, fair dues. But you can now show them in HD and it plays it back at full HD with no problems at all. I installed a the MX player on my phone to play any video file, which MX player supports any file. All right, guys, uh, thanks for watching. I hope it's helped somebody. Uh, don't forget, thumbs up. You know what I mean. Um, and let me know how you get on. Any questions? Feel free to ask. Thanks very much. Bye.